Hello everyone and welcome back to Yosemite Valley. In today's episode we are going to finally have a look into the indoor of uh, or the indoor area of the chimpanzee house and uh, we will also have a real time part at the end. So for those of you who don't want to see the whole time lapse thing you can just skip to the end of this video and uh, see how the final result looks in game. However in today's episode once I get my voice correct um, we, are talk we are talking quite a bit about yeah, what I um, had in mind with this little indoor area and also this is taken from the latest live stream so uh, in case you haven't seen that one and jump over to Twitch it's available for the next couple of weeks before it gets deleted uh, from Twitch so yeah you want to hurry if you want to see this kind of stuff if you want to be in the next live stream also I highly recommend to um, yeah sub over there of no well actually follow that's okay for the moment you can sub later that's, <laughs> I'm just kidding um, now <laughs> uh, this this video is really about how I resolved many of the things that were well kind of problematic about this build I'm gonna talk about this a bit more in detail as soon as we're there. So first of all, you can see I wanted to have this area separated from a little backstage area that is going right behind this wall of rocks over here. I had some struggle to put down the um, climbing frame, to be honest. I'm also not sure if that will be the final position, if, if the structure is going to remain in that position. Now, we don't really have an issue about climbing frames in general, because the climbing need is more than fulfilled for those animals, but uh, yeah, I, I kind of still struggle to see um, if it really is that position I wanted to have it in. Also, also, one thing I need to talk about is the positioning of the staff uh, area in, in general, but also the, um, well, kind of the area for the guest that is on this hand side over here. So at the moment, it seems that this area might a bit be too good like where the people can look from this pathway leading to the big cat's house it might be a bit too good because um, how you know th the game calculates a little bit differently so it's not that the people are willing to go inside of the house at all times um, the game calculates from where they get the best viewing angles um, in I think it's in connection to how easy they get there so this area over here right um, next to the outdoor area of these animals seems to be the the easiest way which gives the best uh, sweet spot between um, easy to reach and not too far to walk but still get the animal to see quite nicely so this is why I still need to make sure that this view is maybe a bit more blocked uh, whether I do it with foliage or however I'm not really sure yet um, so this is also why I'm putting down this wall down here so to make sure that the people will hopefully favor in the future to go actually into the house and then go outside again through this area of the big tree uh, forest if you will the sequoia forest now yeah there's quite a bit of stuff going on and I had some some kind of struggle uh, to find the right way of, of doing this and also um, I needed to find a clever way how to bring the staff members actually uh, into this build so that they can walk everywhere so we had a huge struggle to find the re right positioning of these um, walls over here the glass walls to make sure that you know the animals cannot climb out of all of their habitat at the outside at the same time I wanted to make sure it all feels coherent and somehow uh, somewhat nice because this area over here which is um, on the right hand side of this wall is more or less the the most private outdoor area for the animals so barely any guest can see the animal over there which um, was always planned because I really wanted to make sure that the animals um, can feel the privacy over there so they have some outer area where they can go without being uh, spotted at all times and also um, just another little area for the animals to thrive in. But yeah, so you can see that I was, um, uh, you know, testing around a lot with the fences over here, moving them really into the right positioning, and then also having a little bit of a struggle whether I go with the chain link or not, because chain link is somewhat, well, not really unnecessarily unrealistic, but it's, it's definitely less realistic than a concrete wall. But I went for having a more... Uh, open view into the area rather than having the the hard concrete and I resolved that with a little bit of a trick I implemented into this little area by just having uh, Well, actually I, I put down a little something which is a little bit like um, a climbing frame Support, but at the same time it is tilted to the outside so that the animals cannot climb um, uh, Over a 90 degrees angle, so it's, it's kind of a 120 degree angle if you will So the animals could not climb up there and this kind of prevents them from actually climbing this wall frame Now what I'm doing over here You can see I was building a custom staircase to hopefully make the staff members go up and you can imagine 
this um, didn't really work out the way it is uh, set up to be. But I have to say in the end I managed to find a way and actually this is a good little uh, thing we found. I, I mean I was testing around if that works but I feel like you have to at least um, f find the right steps uh, in terms of the size uh, what we have in the pathway and you can see here I was using the queue um, in order to find if that's working or not and you can see we are following uh, this dude over here doing his uh, his job basically without having any issues so what I was doing I was ending up doing uh, exactly the same thing again uh, building the staircase on my own but this time using the size of the steps that are given by the actual staircase uh, which is in game and I have to say it works so that's pretty cool you can basically build your own staircase for the staff members however you have to stick to the sizes and dimensions that the game is offering you but it's pretty good to know um, they do their job and uh, you can you can build custom uh, stairs and stuff like that so the main reason why I wanted to bring this in here is I didn't want to make a tunnel I didn't want to make an unrealistically and unnecessarily ugly outdoor connection whether it's be a bridge or whatever but at the same time I needed to figure some kind of way how to make sure that the staff member can reach every single area in this zoo and well in the end it worked which is uh, pretty cool yeah, I, um, in the meantime, forgot to uh, give some water to my animals, so they were basically, <laughs> um, yeah, well, they nearly uh, dehydrated, um, or, well, actually, they nearly died from having no drinks, but, well, they cannot, because in, in my sandbox, I turned off the option, but I didn't turn off welfare, because for me, I still want to make sure that the welfare is kind of a little bit of an important thing to look at, because I want to make my habitats as realistic as possible, um, well, mainly from real life example, that means that not always Planet Zoo is the best example to go with the in-game um, elements of realism, if you will. So sometimes the requirements of the animals do not really match the real life ones, which um, is for once understandable because it is a game and it has to, you know, go some routes to make it a good game in a way. But that sometimes there are just some, some weird little things that hopefully are going to be, you know, patched in the future, whether it be kind of the... Uh, foliage thing that animals do not really like the foliage um, which is not from their continent even though in real life they wouldn't be that wary about this so yeah I mean well, well whatever um, I was also doing custom custom uh, foliage over here maybe this might have been because Mike Sheets was in the chat of my live stream I don't know maybe that could have been the reason and he was maybe giving me some ideas what to do about custom plants but well we even went a little bit too far if you ask me so I was even doing them in some kind of avatar ish like uh, things here which I ended up not doing so these ones are still okay but I tried to do something else here which uh, didn't really work out the way I hoped it would but yeah, uh, always the naive and, and very scared, uh, kind of short, um, safe in between. You always see that. I you know I stopped really cutting it out of my videos because I, I felt like I it's taking ages to always find where I cut um, to make the saves. But yeah, you know, so you see, guys, it's, it's not magic. I'm not playing this all in one go or whatever. I also need to make my saves every now and then. But yeah, okay. So we talked a lot about this building. We will also talk a bit more once we are in the real-time part at the end of this video. So so sorry for that because the video will be a tad bit longer then. Now I wanted to address a lot of your comments of my recent episode of this uh, house over here. So two episodes ago I was um, well questioning a few things. I was actually totally intentionally a bit more whiny than I would have loved to be. Um, I wasn't too whiny but I, I wanted to get some results out of that and uh, in that case I thought it's better to really uh, put everything out there to see how you guys react and I have to say big compliment to all of you. Uh, the chat and the comments were always polite and very helpful and very um, constructive I should say. So don't worry at all guys, I am I'm not too worried about this like at all. Um, I just wanted to know a few things, I wanted to understand how the people out there uh, do perceive my content and, and what you guys like and what you don't like. So. Obviously, I cannot make everything exactly perfect for everyone, which is, it's just, it's nature, okay? So, um, not all of you like long videos, but some of you love long videos, so that's the first thing. Not everyone likes my commentary, which is fine, I guess, um, because I don't like every other commentary on YouTube, 
either way. So I think it's normal. Um, and and so it goes on. You know, there are so many things that people like. Some people like that I I do talk a bit like you know, off topic in every episode, like I do for, for example, right now, uh, many people like that, but some others really are like, hey, just give me, just give me info about what you're doing and that's fine, okay? So for me, it's always important to find a bit of a sweet spot in between where I really feel comfortable, but which also matches up with you guys. So every now and then I need to make this kind of whiny little videos because the problem is if I just do it like randomly, like, hey, everything is fine, but can you just give me some feedback? that's not you know humans don't act like that humans would not give me any good feedback on that so i needed to act like a little bit more being a bit more whiny uh, than i actually was so yes i am and i i was and i still will be a, a little bit disappointed and surprised by how planet zoo actually um declined so fast so um i mean i would be lying if i said um that i wasn't really happy about my growth and stuff so i i, I loved it you know seeing so many new people on this channel um still is really cool and it amazes me and I, I love that you guys are now getting more active and interactive also in in this uh, wonderful um community over here so Again, here's also me uh, hinting you again into my Discord channel, which uh, became super active lately, which I totally love. Uh, it's a passion. <laughs> really, it's a passion to go in there and, and be a bit crazy with all the people in there and uh, everyone trying to beat you, Salia, uh, in, in writing more or in being more active, which uh, none of you will ever get done. It's impossible to be more active than her. And it's also impossible to, to make more, that's what she said, jokes than her. So in case you feel brave enough to, to go go into a competition with Aliyah, join my Discord and try it, I, you know, and then tell me in the comments if you are brave enough to do this, because well, I want to know, I want to know. Anyhow, uh, <laughs> so it just, this, is, this was just a little bit explanation. I, I am totally happy with everything uh, that worked recently. I'm not happy with how Planet Zoo uh, declined. Obviously, no one is, I guess, in the community, and there is still a long way to go um, regarding a lot of things. Um, but I think we are hopefully heading uh, a good route again, a road um, that it will be improved in the future. Anyways, um, in case you haven't uh, seen the latest Kuali Zoo episode, you might want to check the one of today out. I haven't been part of it um, because reasons I really don't want to talk about. Um, it's, it's well, the day where we, we recorded was not my day, best day ever, let's put it that way. And uh, very unfortunate things happened, which is uh, totally okay by now. I, I just don't think that the internet is a suitable uh, location to talk about that. I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, everything is fine. I'm doing fine. Everyone is doing fine. Um, I, I just wasn't part of that episode because good reasons and the guys knew and it's going to be an awesome episode anyways. Um, and next week I'll be out again because I'm skiing. Um, this is also why this might be the last episode you guys are seeing right now that is not really like super pre-recorded. I'm actually recording that Friday evening, but I will be binge recording the stuff for next week. Honestly, I have no idea how much I will be I will get done before we um, leave for the holidays and to be honest I don't I, I will not pressure myself too much so if I, I won't be able to do too much um, there won't be that much on the channel next week you know that's as simple as it is but I think if if it does if I get done stuff um, you will see it on the channel if not not I think it's it's that easy anyways as I'm putting down now the last bits here um, I say goodbye to you from this uh, commentary a voice over um, from the time lapse but we'll see each other in a few seconds in the old time part I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode so far and uh, stick with me let's have a look how that looks in game so see you in a few seconds All right, so since this is the last thing you guys saw in the videos, I thought we just start the whole thing over here. Now, um, yeah, this is the building, you can see that already, but um, yeah, well, what you haven't seen in the last episode is obviously what is in the background, and that is the uh, Half Dome, which I did on Wednesday. So in case you haven't seen that one, I highly recommend to watch the last video as well. 
also, I definitely have to change something about this pathway over here. That looks ugly as hell. Um, well, it, actually, it's just a placeholder at the moment, but uh, yeah, well, we definitely have to check that. It's actually not good. Okay, so if we move inside, let's just follow that dude over here to go inside. You can see this building is already greeting us. Oh, actually, that should not be the way, but it looks good. It almost looks like a little bit worn out. I think I keep it that way with the, with the rocks peeking through. I mean, also in comparison with the... I quite like that. Didn't saw that, to be honest, but well, okay. So if we go further, you can see that um, this is how this um, house looks. And it I, I love the fact that it feels really calm and it feels really inviting uh, to be in here. So we have the custom sign over here. We can really see that. I, I love this positioning, by the way. It might be might be a good thing to have this as a thumbnail. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm still not sure what kind of thumbnail I want to use, but I'm, I'm really like a big fan of that with the little waterfall in the background. You have the half dome outside there. You can stand here and have a peek to the chimpanzees down there in this area. So really, I feel like it's a cool, cool little element of, of this park to have. Like, oh, look at how the sun goes. I, I think it really works out well with this little, um, I think it's almost like classic glass piece, which looks a bit like old uh, English styled uh, city zoo uh, almost like I really like it so um, yeah this is how the inside looks from guest perspective but there's so much more to discover so let's just jump in um, and have a look from the outside so if we go in oh there's someone running uh, over that little uh, element here oh my god this is slow motion jump again <laughs> the slow-mo jump uh, this is not something I really hope that Frontier fixes eventually because like I like how they jump but sometimes being that slow-mo is uh, a bit weird so what are you doing this dude is just sleeping Leave him sleeping. Come on. Don't be a dickhead. Just leave him sleeping. It's, uh, you know, I, I'm also super annoyed if someone is uh, waking me up. Uh, okay. I mean, that was super polite. He was actually jumping very, very quiet and, and softly in order to not wake him up. But still, didn't work. He woke up. Oh, God. Okay, so you didn't do your job right, mate. Okay, anyways, let's come over here to the ramp. This is the ramp that goes over here to the other side. To be honest, this is kind of a little bit of a lost space over here where I need to also delete the um, uh, the windows. I have to see what I have can do about this because actually they do peek down here and this looks pretty ugly indeed. So I have to see how I will... Uh, resolve that. I think we are just keeping this um, thing shut. I, I think that's the best idea to just, uh, you know, we're just quickly doing that. I feel like this is the easiest way of doing this and uh, for the sake of having a nice area here. Whoa, 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 where, where are we? Come on, do it. Okay, so let's do it that way. And there we go. That's it already. So I feel like it's totally okay because then you have this very private area on here. That's a private, private area, huh? What about that? Okay. Um, yeah, but this is this is how it looks from over here. Also, you have a nice view inside the guest area without being being seen too easily. So that's kind of it. And then you have this staircase that leads you down. A bit unsecure. We don't have fencing here, which I should have uh, looked into. Um, but then you go even further down into this little. Uh, backstage area. You have two dudes sitting down here. Also, not not that. How <laughs> you just oh, stop shitting on my ramp? It's not how you do that. It's not how you do this, guys. Okay, but yeah, you know, you go down and they have a very nice, cozy little area. Very overgrown, very green, very jungle-ish. So that's what you do expect from an internal uh, area of a kind of you know tropical house, if you will. As soon as you go out, it's a bit empty. It's a bit dull. Um, I will do something about this in the future, having some more local foliage growing around here as well. And we're going to hide this area away way better by having a lot of bushes and foliage just in front of here to make sure that the guests do not, um, you know, go in that area and just stand here and have a look. They should really go inside and I just want this outside area to be seen from some selected positions rather than from everywhere. But yeah, I, th I think I'm a big fan of how this all turned out. Um, it's, it's looking really interesting. I think it uh, really did what it should do at the end of the day. Uh, we have a lot of different uh, viewing angles. It, it kind of creates a very nice feeling. And I think the chimpanzees have a very, very large little uh, habitat to live in and thrive in. Um, again, as I said, I'm, I'm a big fan of that. And I love, I love just watching them live in here. I think that's the best thing you can say about a build. Actually, I like this um, screenshot as well, just taking one. Um, but yeah, never mind. That's it. Uh, I think there's not much more to say um, other than I hope that you guys enjoy. Can you stop proving next to my ear because that's oh God, it's a lot. Okay, but yeah, guys, that's it.
this was uh, today's episode of uh, Yosemite Valley. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did enjoy, as always, you know the drill. Uh, leave me a like and also make sure to comment down below if you have anything to say. If not, just comment anyways because <laughs> it helps me. But I just, God, I have no, I just cannot. I just cannot, you know, leave it like that. It's, you know, you guys know the drill, but I, I do hate saying that this way. I think in the future you guys get an overlay for that, um, which I'm already working on. But to be honest, I forgot that on my... Um, MacBook, which is not here, so I cannot implement that now. Anyways, I guess you guys, I guess, oh, well, no, I should definitely stop, right? Never mind. So, have a good time, guys. See you next one, and until then, bye bye. Alrighty, guys, thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate that. As always, uh, make sure to check out also my social media channels. You can find me everywhere under at RudyRandCamel. Also, big thanks to the crew. Uh, you can see it on the left hand side right now. And as always, if you want to see more, you click that card on the top right. And if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you've just saw, you just saw, whatever you know what I mean, just uh, click that sub button, which is to the bottom right of the screen right now. But everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time. Bye, guys. Nothing.